This guy is killing me. He's crazy. I came from the environmental movement as a whole. I've been really passionate about. He's literally good. He's like extremely charismatic for this kind of event. A couple of people in this room have seen me in other uh, spaces where I've been talking about issues that they impact, particularly communities of colors and how they're impacted by uh, environmental effects. But plastics for me was a new avenue. So one of the things that's really cool about me being in this role is I get to bring a perspective that a lot of people who've been in this movement for a long time don't have, which is the, as of six months ago, I didn't even know this was a problem. Like I knew it was a problem because I heard about the straws and I knew turtles were being hurt. And I was like, the ocean is like, something's happening with the ocean. But to be honest, I was like, I got other things to work on, right? A lot of people will say that. There's like, there are people getting gunned down in the street. There is people who are dealing with traumatic, awful incidents on a daily basis. We are dealing with, in the environmental space, there's hurricanes, there's firestorms, there's all types of stuff. People are like, there's other stuff that are more important. One of the things I realized though, as I started educating myself, is that not only is this important, but it is crucial. It is crucially important that we care about the plastics. It is crucially important, particularly that we care about single-use plastics. I'm a new father, uh, my wife, and the Woo! CEO of Water Montana is back there. Um, we had a beautiful surprise. <laughs> <laughs> We were definitely going to go on that double income, no kids life for a little bit, and then she was like, I'm here. Um, and as part of that, a lot of things shift. The way you look at the world, the way you engage with the world changes. And one of the things that I was educating myself was I learned about the health impacts that we get from microplastics. Did y'all know that like they found microplastics in people's brains? Yes. Yeah. They found them in our reproductive systems. Mm -hmm. They found them in our organs. Like, and we, to, like, we don't yet know fully, because the science, like, this is something we're still learning and researching and getting more information, what those impacts will have on how we engage, how we continue to reproduce, how we as humans continue to exist. So there's already a crisis if we're just looking at the human health health. On the environmental side, we've all seen the images, the ocean covered, massive trash islands that are just like taking over our natural ecosystems. You see animals choking on the ghost nets, dying for, unfortunately, because people are either too lazy to collect their trash or people are dumping their trash in the waterways. We have Allegheny Cleanways here. Um, can we talk a little bit more about, yeah, we love what they do, y'all. Let's snap it up. Um, <laughs> snap, snap, snap. But she was just telling us a little bit earlier, if y'all get a second, grab her and go to the plastics display which you can tell you about our waterways here in Pittsburgh and how they're impacted by plastic. I think you were saying like 90% of the trash collected in our waterways is plastic waste. Um, so this is something that's crucially important, right? And even if you want to talk, like some people are pragmatic, they're like, hey, environment's cool, health is cool, but let's talk money, right? And that's fair and that's valid and it still impacts that as well, right? Like when a community is covered in trash, that impacts property values, that impacts tourism, that impacts the people that go and visit that community and engage in that business, right? So that's why we at the Collaborative Care and we want to do something about it. That's why we all come together. The Plastic Collaborative is a coalition of different organizations, community leaders, concerned citizens, uh, businesses, small and large, who want to, take, want to take action to create a more sustainable reality for all of us because this is a, pro this is a problem that impacts everybody. Obviously, there's more significant impacts in communities of color where we see the impacts of plastic waste visually a lot more, but this is an impact that is across the board, right? Plastic is ubiquitous. Like, there are, it is everywhere, it is in everything. Um, sometimes, things that I didn't even know about, as, again, one of the things I learned, and Crystal can tell you, I've been learning stuff, and I'll be like, did you know? And you're like, she'd be like, don't, it's literally nine o'clock, I just wanna go. So. Anyway, all this to say, first of all, thank you all so much. From the depth of my heart for coming out, A, because, thank God, I'm so scared. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. But also, thank you so much for taking the first step and taking action. Some of you have been at this for years, know so much more than me, and I'm like learning from all of you. Some of you are where I was six months ago, 
who are like, bro, I don't, I just came because you said there was going to be free food, and I appreciate you too. Because hopefully by the end of this night, you're going to be where I'm at now, which is something that we need to do something about. Right? So, the plastic fiber, as I was saying, our mission is to reduce and eventually eliminate single-use plastics in the greater Pittsburgh area. Um, we're going to do this in three ways. We're looking to do this using advocacy, we're looking to do this using education, and we're looking to do this using collaboration. See how I use the word collaboration? Hey. 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 hey! Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was such a good joke. Um, but genuinely, one of the things that inspired me so much about Natalie and Shannon's leadership is their insistence on really wanting to bring people to the table, right? They were like, one of the goals, if we want to create sustainable solutions that can work for the most people, is we need to have conversations. So that's the first thing we do at the collaborative is we bring disparate people from people from disparate places, organizations, identities to come in and have that conversation so that we can get people who are like, who know a ton, can teach classes about this, to people who this is their first time hearing about it, to people who might be anti or pro-plastic or pro fossil fuel that we want to engage in conversation. So I want to invite you all to be part of that conversation, to let your voice be heard. The second part is with policy. So one of the things that the Plastic Collaborative, this was before my tenure, but a lot of the people who are in the collaborative now and who are in this room now play a key role in actually getting the Plastic Bag Ban passed here in Pittsburgh. So we can snap that up for those of you that were a part of that. We love, we love that. Um, and that's a great first step, right? Like we don't want to like be like, all right, we did it. We solved it. No, because first implementation is still you get on our website, you can click it on the, on the link over there, and you can start reporting some places just to get implementation up. But we also really want to push the city to go even a step further and to not just ban plastic bags, but also go plastic free at their facility, go plastic free at their events that they're sponsoring. Really, if Pittsburgh is saying we're like, hey, we're looking to go green, we're trying to be the sustainable, innovative city, we're really wanting to push them in a policy uh, with a policy platform that says we really want to put our money where our mouth is. So that's something the collaborative is currently in the research process of right now. If you have information that would be helpful, join our policy team. We'd love to have you. Um, or if you have research that you can share with us, that would still be really, really appreciated. So that's the advocacy way. And then what I'm here to talk to you about today is what I'm most excited about, which is the education way. So one of the things when we were having conversations with the Allegheny County Council that they mentioned was, we need an initiative that goes out to engage the public, right? Like, they want to take action, they want to pass policy, but the general public is just really like, they're like, ah, it's, there's other issues. And so one of the things we're trying to do as a collaborative is to really engage communities, really engage businesses, really engage leaders in the community to really take a second and really understand that this isn't just another issue to shove to the side, but this is something that impacts us, it impacts our children, it impacts our environment, it impacts our future, it impacts our planet, and we need to take action before it's too late, right? And so what we're doing today is we're launching the education series, which is called Less Plastic, More Future, how small steps can lead to big changes. Woo! I was really proud of that name, uh, but it's in short, it's less plastic, more future. Um, and this is an education series where I will get the amazing honor to come out to a community event, to go to a business launch or a business dinner, to go to a school, to go to a college classroom to go wherever I am requested to have that conversation with people. I have a beautiful presentation. I have a great little quiz on the food that we're going to engage with. I've got some fun activities. I'm probably going to steal Kaylee's plastic display, maybe, if she lets me borrow it. Um, and we're going we're gonna to have a great time. And we're going to talk about the issues. We're going to talk about the human health element. We're going to talk about the environmental impacts. And we're going to talk about solutions, right? It's not, one, it's not enough to just be like, Hey, y'all, this is the problem. It's like, what can we actually do, right? And we're going to get people to do, a, take a pledge called the DOT pledge. I learned this from my previous organizing work, which is a pledge to do one thing. We're not going to solve this problem today. We're not going to solve it tomorrow. Individually, we're not going to solve it. But if we do one thing, we're going to make it better. 
And if a lot of us do one thing, and a lot, a lot, a lot of us do one thing, and then keep doing another thing, once you figure out that one thing, it's like, hey, I'm not doing any more plastic bottles. I'm switching to reusables. And then you're like, I've done this for like two weeks. I've done it for two months, it's great. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start carrying a reusable bag. If all of us do that, we can create an impact, right? And it can also create a shift in the public narrative. Because at the end of the day, let's be honest, our individual actions are meaningful and deeply, deeply impactful, but we really need to target the production and the essentially the spread of plastic if we want to make a serious impact. But in order for us to really put pressure on these corporations and our government, we need the individuals to be taken out. So if we can show that we have communities engaged, individuals engaged, people really caring about this, it's much easier for me to go and have a conversation with an elected official and be like, hey, I just was talking to all your constituents and they were like, we want to get rid of plastic. And I think it would make sense for you to get rid of plastic. They'd be like, you know what, you're right. They want it, I don't particularly, I'm opposed, let's go for it. So that's why I really want to engage y'all to like take a part right after. So, the education series is gonna be in three parts. It's gonna be one that's gonna be focused for just like me six months ago, which is like the person that's like, I don't know what I want to about. I'd like to learn more. And I would tell you about that. And then we have one that's geared specifically to businesses, organizations, and communities, which is gonna be talking a little bit more about what policies you can put into place, what processes you can put into place, how you can take action as a community or as a collection of people. So this can be churches, this can be community centers, this can be schools, whatever the case may be. And then I also have another one that's targeted towards leaders and decision makers and movers and shakers, the quote unquote people who have money and power and resources, that's more geared about what can be done at like a county level or at a city level or at like a large institution like UPMC or Giant Eagle level. So if you are interested in having me come out to speak at your organization, at your uh, tea party, at your birthday party, wherever you want me to come, I will come. You can go ahead, there's two QR codes over there that I'm gonna want y'all to take a gander as you're wandering around and completing your bingo boards, right? Because we're doing that? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, we are. We definitely are not sitting in one place talking to the three people we like. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, you can go back there hit the QR code, one of them is gonna help take you right to book a class. You don't have to book one right now, but if you do, please do. And there's another one that's gonna take you to join the collaborative. Um, joining the collaborative, there's two ways, there's two membership levels, I guess you'd call them. One, which is a collaborative member, which means you're actively engaged and join the team. We have four teams. We have a business engagement team. We have a content research team. We have a planning team, and we have a policy advocate. So those are the teams you can join. If any of those speak to you, some of those, multiple, please join. Um, and then you can also join as just a community member, which means you just engage with us. You come to stuff like this, you hang out with us, you share some stuff on social media, if you share stuff. You make it to meetings you can make it to. If you can, you can, it's okay. Uh, but we'd love to have you either way, so please, please, please take a moment. Like we said, so in order to do this work, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what I'm what I'm asking here is if y'all have I was gonna do the church thing, but no. <laughs> I don't think we got enough. <laughs> I don't think we got enough uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it's just that like a, in, in, in a lot of black churches, we'll say like plate. you can either take the hat and pass it around or pass the plate or whatever the case might be. Um, but as you can tell, I grew up in the church. <laughs> but I, all, all jokes aside, um, your contributions do really matter. A, because they help me, like, they help put diapers on my, my baby girls, but also it helps me go out and spread the word about the plastic crisis, engage communities, and really help take action and hopefully get some policies passed. So if you have the moment, please join the collaborative. I welcome you all. It is open, we're not, don't discriminate against anybody from any group, whatever the case might be, please join us. If you got a couple extra dollars floating around you just want to throw it, throw into a good cause, go ahead and throw some in there. My wife had a beautiful little gift uh, donation box. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. And we also got a QR code if you want to hit that. <laughs> We're going to pass the code.
And finally, please, 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 if you are interested in learning more, if you're interested in getting involved, if you want to just talk a little bit more about this in a one-on-one -on -one setting to figure out if it makes sense to you, reach out to me. My cards, I'm gonna leave on the table. You can snag on my cards. Uh, email me and we'll have a conversation. But all that being said, everybody, please complete your bingo so we can pull a couple and Natalie can hand out this incredible wine and have a phenomenal, phenomenal rest of the night. Thank you all so much for your time and energy. We gotta head out to stay on time. I'll do it real quick.